But we got important news to talk about here. I want to start yes, with this do. because everyone's talking about it today. And no, it is not the mixed tag team titles. <laughs> but we can talk about that later. So, uh, after months of speculation, it says here, this from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com, there was some new insight in the current AEW Warner Brothers Discovery TV rights renewal talks, some of which that as AEW head Tony Khan reportedly not thrilled with the current offer. As part of his weekly subscriber newsletter, Puck's Matt Bologna, or Baloney, honestly not sure, of the Hollywood Reporter. Looks like perhaps, baloney. Perhaps the story is baloney. Let's Probably. continue. He reported WBD head David Zaslav and TNT Sports head Luis Silberwasser. Look at you. Wants to retain AEW Dynamite Collision and Rampage. However, Baloney writes, the clock is ticking. I'm told the exclusive window closes in July. AEW leader Tony Khan is said to be disappointed with the offer currently on the table. Khan also surely knows that Zaz losing the NBA would give AEW more leverage, even though the money to re-up AEW is a mere drop in the NBA bucket. If the window closed without a deal, others could swoop in for those rights, as Comcast has done with the NBA. Extra awkward, he writes, because WBD is said to own a stake in the league. He went on to speculate he's unsure of how attractive AEW is to other platforms, giving only non-WWE partners can be in on the potential bidding, said AEW provides reliable programming, and that if Zaslav loses both NBA and AEW TV rights, that could cause more damage in WBD's deal with cable providers. Now, obviously, Tony hasn't said anything about anything, because that's his gimmick. He's not going to say anything about anything. Although... I disagree. What's that? Because this sounds like a little bit of, I don't want to say negotiation in the media, but it's a little bit of... Uh... A little bit of gamesmanship going on. You know, we see this in other businesses and other sporting franchises that are looking for deals. So that's kind of what this sounds like to me. You know, what, what know. side it came from, I don't know. But it certainly sounds like it may have come from the AEW side of things. But who knows? Well, here's what I could tell you, because I've, I've talked to a lot of different people about this. And Tony... This is my understanding. And we've talked about this here on the show. So someone here said, if this hasn't been reported on this, I've been talking about this for a long time. So Tony would like, a, obviously, a lucrative deal. Yes. But my understanding is that what he wants is a package deal that includes many different things. He doesn't just want a renewal for the television, but he wants a renewal for the television, and he would like a some sort of pay-per-view aspect to this, whether that means moving to Max, whatever the deal with Max would be. And then he wants something involving the AEW TV library. They've got five years worth of AEW television library content, Ring of Honor, etc. And uh, right now, where is it? I mean, sometimes I think, hey, you know what? We should, uh, Brian and Vinny, go back and start on year one of AEW. Well, how are we going to do that? You can't even watch it anywhere. Unless you want to try to whatever. So there's there's no library. I, I've been told that he wants something that involves all of these different things. Okay? Makes sense. And what I also was told was that the original offer did not include all of these things. And he was unhappy with the offer because he wanted everything. Okay? Now, if I'm making... I'll use easy math right here. If I'm making... $10 million a year to do uh, to do this show, Wrestling Observer Live. Oh, you went with eight numbers. Which may be low. If I'm making $10 million a year and my contract is due, and let's say that, you know, I want I want Sports Byline to give me an increase. I also want them to uh, do something with the library of 13,000 shows or whatever that I've done. And they come back to me and they say, well, listen, we'll give you a $15 million, okay? We'll give you one and a half. But we're not going to do anything with the library right now, okay? I'd, I'd probably be disappointed. I wanted everything, okay? Doesn't mean I'm disappointed with the number being offered for my increase, okay? So I think that... I believe that they have probably made an offer for the television that I would expect Tony would be okay with, okay? But 
I don't know if they're at this point giving him everything that he wants in this package, which he could be. At, at one point, he was upset because they weren't. I don't know if that has changed, okay? So my point is, this line here about how uh, Tony Khan reportedly not thrilled with the current offer, I mean, they've been negotiating for a long time. At one point, that was correct, to my to my knowledge. I don't know if that's correct now. And I think that at the end of the day, they're probably going to sign a new deal relatively soon. I do believe that they are going to get an increase. I don't think it's going to be, you know, they're going to get double, they're going to get triple. You know, Dave was throwing around numbers last night. If you guys listen to Observer Radio, he's throwing around a lot of numbers. And uh, I was throwing around a lot of numbers as well. And people on the thread are like, you know, what's going on here? Uh, I'll tell you what's going on. I believe that uh, they're making about $80 million right now for their television deals. I believe their next deal will be, uh, at most, around one and a half times what they're getting now. That would put them right around $119, $120 million. And I think that would be good. And Dave last night mentioned $120 million would be good. And I think that's what they're going to end up getting. I think that uh, some people are going to say, oh, well, they didn't get double. They didn't get blah, blah, blah. They're going to make this out like it's a big disaster or whatever. If they get one and a half times, that is an excellent deal. I think that WWE's uh, deal for, was it Raw? Uh, I think was about one and a half times, you know. The days of getting double and, and et cetera, I mean, I think those days are gone. And you can see that uh, Nick Khan believes those days are coming to an end because they signed a 10-year deal. Like, if they thought that in five years, rights fees are going to dramatically increase, they wouldn't have signed a 10-year deal. So oh, yeah, they... and, re and remember, last year at this time when he was out there at these functions shopping the show and, and negotiating kind of in the media about what they think they were going to get, they ended up not getting those things. And obviously they took them in different directions this time around with Netflix and things like that. But, yeah, I mean, the bubble is starting to burst on a lot of these franchises, really, unless you're the NBA. So that's what I think is going to happen there in the end. I think it's going to come down uh, fairly soon. I think the idea that nobody else would want AEW is ridiculous. They will get a television deal somewhere. And uh, my presumption is it's going to end up being WBD. But I think well, look, what, we'll know soon enough because there ain't a lot of time left. No, and there's never been any indication that Tony Khan has wanted anything other than WBD. He has been very loyal. He has been very supportive. He has wanted tie-ins. He really loves... WBD and HBO and everything that kind of goes along with it. And I'm sure he's sitting there looking at it going, man, I see a future here for us. And I think long term, yeah, having ROH and AEW stuff added to Max would be great. You know, being able to partner in on how you're going to split the money of these pay-per-views every month, which is just going to bring in more money for WBD through that platform. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he wants all of that stuff. If that ends up falling through then we're in the same situation as when raw and smackdown and everything else was being shopped around and you look and you go okay who would want it and also who would want it for the money that it would take for tony khan to be satisfied and happy and who can check off as many boxes as wbd so if it doesn't just go that direction it's going to be really interesting here to see who does jump in does disney jump in for fx doesn't seem like if they were ever interested in WWE to any serious level, would AEW be worth it? Uh, I don't know. But then again, like I said, if it if this doesn't work out with WBD, and I think ultimately it will, it really does bring up a question over where they're going to go and how they're going to be valued by that group. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.